Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Candidate. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Losant, and today I'm gonna to show you how to go from an OPC UA device to a cloud dashboard in five minutes. To do this, I've got a Siemens S7 1200 PLC as the OPC UA device. I've got an Advantech Uno as my Linux gateway, and I'll be using the Losant IoT platform for the Edge workflow and the dashboard. Let's start with the Uno. Losant's Gateway Edge agent is distributed as a Docker image. So we need Docker and we need the image. This can be done with two commands. The first command installs Docker. This command works on most Linux distributions, including the Raspberry Pi. And the second command pulls down the image. Check out the Losant Edge agent Docker Hub page for details and available versions. Now that the Uno is set up, let's create a device in Losant to represent it. Starting from a blank application, click Devices in the main navigation and then click the Add Device button. Select Edge Compute as the device class and name the device anything you want. And that's it. There's no other configuration required for this device. Now let's generate an access key and secret for the device, which are used to connect to Losan's MQTT broker. From the Device Actions menu, click Create Access Key and copy paste these somewhere safe. You'll also need to grab the device's ID. The final command we need to run on the Uno is a standard Docker run command that passes environment variables for the device ID, access key, and access secret. This launches the Gateway Edge agent, and after a moment, you'll see it connect to Losant. Now let's add a device to represent the Siemens PLC. For this device, we're going to select the peripheral class. Since peripherals don't connect directly to Losant, we need to link this peripheral to an edge compute device which is saying that the Edge Compute device is allowed to report data on behalf of this peripheral. Click the Create Device button and then select the Attributes tab. This PLC is running a program that exposes two PLC tags, temperature and voltage. So we need to add number attributes for both. Our devices are now ready to go, so let's build an Edge workflow. Click Workflows in the main navigation and then click the Add Workflow button. Select Edge as the workflow type, and the agent version should match the version of the Docker image that was pulled earlier. Let's start with a virtual button, so we can run this workflow manually. Next, add an OPC UA read node. For this PLC, we need to set the URI and the details of the two nodes we want to read. We'll place the result on the payload at working.result. Finally, add a debug node so we can see the payload at runtime. We can now deploy this workflow by clicking the Deploy button and selecting our Edge Compute device. Once the deploy is complete, click the Live Look icon. From here, we can click the Virtual button, which remotely executes the workflow. We can then inspect the payload and confirm that data is successfully being read. Now let's edit this workflow to run on an interval. Add a timer trigger and configure it to run every one minute. Next, insert a device state node, set the device ID to the Siemens PLC, and record the temperature and voltage attributes. The value of each attribute is a template that references a location on the workflow payload. We can now redeploy this workflow, open the device overview page for the Siemens device, and confirm that state data is being recorded. Now that we have data, we can build our dashboard. Starting from a blank dashboard, let's add a gauge for the temperature. Click the gear icon in the top right corner, select add block, and then choose gauge. We need to select our Siemens device and its temperature attribute. Let's also change the style, set the label, and set the range from 0 to 100 degrees. Click add block and add it to the dashboard. Let's clone this block to make another gauge for the voltage. We need to change the attribute, change the style to a battery, and set the range from 12 to 14 volts. We can now save this block and drag it under the temperature to make room for some graphs. Let's start by adding a time series graph for the temperature. We'll again choose our Siemens device and select the temperature attribute. Let's set the series label to temperature and the y-axis label to degrees Celsius. Once the block is added to the dashboard, let's resize it to fit next to the temperature gauge. Just like we did before, let's clone this block and change the settings to display the voltage attribute. And that's it. We've successfully gone from an OPC UA device to a cloud dashboard in five minutes. We've barely scratched the surface of the Losant IoT platform. If you want to learn more, you can find us at losant.com. Thank you.